The following is a presentation of the Eagles Sports Network. Alongside Tobias Solom Carlson, the junior uh, forward for the men's soccer team, I'm Danielle Whaley, and this is the Eagles Sports Network, where Toby has been named to the first team all South Atlantic Conference team uh, for the preseason. And Toby, another accolade to add to your list of accolades coming from last season with a stellar sophomore year. You led the team in goals, game winners, and had even more accolades uh, last year. Knowing that you're a leader with the team this year in your junior season, how did you come into this season prep preparing for it with those expectations around you? First off, my pre preparation for this season is to be healthy. Uh, I've been <laughs> struggling with a lot of injuries. Uh, just to, to get healthy and get, get back into it, just get the confidence and try to get the newcomers and the, the same people on board and what we did last year. Because we had we had a good season. Uh, unfortunately, we got some injuries and we didn't walk all the way the line. Uh, so I, th I, I don't I don't seem like a special thing. I just, I've always been a natural leader and I feel like I can try to get the team with me and keep it going. And I think we can do something big this season. You mentioned the injury that you faced last year. That is something to come back from. But you also look at last year with you scoring nearly 30% of the entire team's goals. So knowing that you do have that scoring potential in you, what has been your key preparation along with recuperating from your injury? It's just getting back to feeling, basically. Um, get back to feeling for f when you shoot, you know it's going to hit the goal. <laughs> and uh, when you have that feeling, basically no one can stop you. And that, that's how... I felt last season I, I, I got into the, into the flow and and only thing that potentially could have maybe stopped me down was the injury and unfortunately happened. So I just feel like I need to get back in the flow and I try to use the preseason as good as possible to to get into it, have fun with the ball again and get, get the guys on board and what we think will be good for us. And Ashley Kalanak landed on the second team for the all-conference in the preseason, and he'll most likely be lining up with you uh, whenever he's splitting time between mid and forward. What does it mean to you to have that extra competitor with you that you know is a really good scorer that can add more depth to the team this year? The more depth, the more competition you have, the better people will, will get anyway. So if you have one behind you or beside you or in front of you that will push you, it will just push you even further. So hopefully um, the link with me and Ash and even some of the newcomers can be pretty good. We can, I, I believe we can do some, some danger to them, some defenses uh, in the sack and uh, postseason. You mentioned the newcomers that are coming in, and they're coming into a forward group that was really successful last year, scoring, I want to say, 17 of the 39 goals that the team had on the season. So knowing that they are coming into a powerful group, what have you seen from the new forwards this season that you think can really add some potential? It, it, what I see is like they have they have the um, some things we didn't have last year. Uh, we have some people with speed. We have some people that is more like different types. Uh, we have more depth we can play on in different games, and in practices that would just help us. Um, I believe that we can keep going from last year and just get the new guys into our core group because the core either with the defense, midfield, and, and uh, offensive is, is is strong. We just need them to. to get him into the group, use the preseason well, and uh, I believe we can do some good things. Toby, congratulations on the first team accolade, and thanks for your time. Thank you, appreciate it. He is Tobias Solom Carlson. I'm Danielle Whaley, and this is the Eagle Sports Network.